greetings from the workshop. Having finished the T70 trio and kind of teased you guys with what was going to come next, working again on, if you will, shrinking that display. Those are all currently, with the exception of the uh, Delta 7 in the back, currently in the 148th to 130, 143rd to 148th range in X-Wing fighters. Now, I've just finished working on T-70s to replace the two Ravel ones. Next up is going to be working to replace the 143rd AMT and the 148th, if I could talk this morning, 148th uh, fine molds. For that, we're going to be working with Bandai's combo kit of the Red Squadron X-Wing Fighter. In this case, I'll be working, I'll only be working with the 172nd scale versions in each of these kits. Got custom decals. The blue ones here are actually what was originally intended on the black fine molds. In this case, I have printed them on white decal paper so that when I place them on a black model they'll show up. The gray markings here are for the last dogfight version which will get the white fuselage and the red wings. That bird I'm going to break with tradition. I haven't built Luke Skywalker's X-Wing in ages but this one will be with a twist. I'm not going to build the movie version. I'm going to build the novel version using some Blue Squadron markings I got online. These are based off of the Rogue One appearance of Blue Squadron. But as you can see here, I have markings for Blue 5, which in the novel was actually Luke's ship. Obviously, when I do the R2 unit, it'll be R2-D2. This one will wind up mostly out of the box as far as paint scheme goes, whereas this one will wind up base black, and like I said earlier, this one will wind up with the white fuselage and the uh, red wings. Not sure how I'm going to redo the shark mouth effect on the nose. We'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Should be an interesting looking build when all's said and done. All right, as you can see, I've been working on getting some of the pre-painting done on the various pieces. On the blue five, I've got the gunmetal painted in, as well as a custom dark gray on the cockpit. I've painted over the red striping pieces in white, since they're going to wind up blue later on. I've also got the pilot figure painted. I still need to go in and put a black wash on them. As well as, where'd he go? There he is. Done the canopy frame in a gunmetal gray or dark gray. And there, just in camera, is the head for R2-D2. For the black X, I've done the black pieces, if you will in the uh, Vallejo dark gray primer. Again, detail pieces picked out in gunmetal and the cockpit pieces in the dark gray. In this case, the pilot wound up with a black helmet. The canopy frame is done in a metallic blue to match up with the uh, with the markings that we'll be using later. The R2, in this case, is similar to R2-D2, only in this case it's the silver head with black. For the last dogfight X-Wing, picked out various pieces in the, for the wings in a combination of acrylic red and a 
in uh, Vallejo Scarlet. Same for the canopy frame. In the R2Ks here were a red head with black detailing. The pilot standard scheme, only in this case with a red helmet. The blue striping again painted white. Detail painting done. And of course the rest of the wing pieces in red. From here, maybe a wash on the pilots and we'll uh, start assembly. All right, at this point, major assembly on all three sets of wings is done. I've also gone in and touched up the paint on the dogfight and black X wings. These pieces here, I've gone ahead and left in the base plastic color because I intend to go in and uh, wash them for detail. And of course, Blue 5 still remains entirely in a kit plastic with the noted exception of the black wash and the wing inserts. All right, at this point, as you can see, base construction, minus the wing guns, are, is done on all three birds. Next step will be decaling and then just a little bit of finalizing on the detail painting. Decaling is where that one's really going to uh, start to shine as its own bird. As you can see, it's going to be a, con a fairly interesting looking flight as it is, but we'll see how things go. All right, at this point, got the decals all on, got final assembly done on all three planes, got the weathering I'm going to do done. So at this point, we're going to call the T-65 Trio build done. You can see, now that we're not spinning around anymore, we've got three complete Incom T-65 X-Wing fighters. We have the last dogfighter, or as I've just come to call it, the dogfighter. We have the black X-Wing with blue markings. And we have Luke Skywalker's Blue 5 from the novelization to Star Wars, complete with uh, our dear little friend R2-D2 there. Weathering was done with a combination of black washes and Vallejo smoke. You'll notice I put the uh, candy stripe markings on two of the wing guns for each plane. The tiger shark mouth there was hand drawn with a fine tip sharpie. But all in all, I think the effect still gets what I was trying to get across. The birds are well detailed. I mean, you know, we, we've all seen these Bandai X-Wings. Pilots are all in their cockpits, including young Master Skywalker. I really like how the black wash, though diluted, brought out the detail in the two light colored planes. Now the slight pink tint to the wing markings on the dogfighter are not intentional. I printed them on a uh, white decal sheet, but going over the red wings, yeah, they wound up with a slight pink to it. That's all right. Good deal with it. Like I said, really like how they all turned out, especially Blue 5 here. I think he, that one's actually the best of the batch this time. 
I mean, you've got the, the nice detailing in there for the engines between the wings. And before I ramble anymore, I'm going to go ahead and stick some stills at, this one, at the end of this one and call it done. All right, as a final little added snippet, we've got all six X-Wings as well as way back there in the back, one little Delta 7 Ether Sprite. Definitely looks better with them all being in the same scale.